was over crypto muscle come to you another youtube video here we are internationally renowned we're watching this is where it's at crypto muscle and the crypto muscle network coming to you another video and so we'll get straight to it all right it's the another riveting episode of you know the critically acclaimed death watch series and so uh you know kicking off the death watch series on monday here you know, I, I said I'd let the weekend play out, you know, and I'll come back. And here we are, back on Monday. And what did I say I was going to do? I was going to laugh in your face, which I'm doing right now, right? Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha. I'm laughing in your face because, man, am I right that Echo One pay? Let me see here. Did, did any, Echo One, did you guys pay? Anybody? 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 Oh, shit. Silent. Okay, so nobody got paid. Okay. I had to take a swig of, uh, what do you call that? Intro workout with creatine in it. All right, so, oh, man, nobody got paid, man. You know, uh, it's crazy. You know, it's, hey, you know what? Let's check in with, um, let's see here. Let's check in with Echo One here. Let's see what the chatter is, is about here. Of course, nothing from official, right? The, the channel, you know, announcement channel since... <laughs> the day of the third, right? The day of is supposed to, you know, pay in Litecoin because, you know, they were trading through New Year's and all that stuff, that, that excuse, right? And then uh, the chatter here is, um, you know, just talk, right? So it's funny how things are. Um Man, I mean, where do I begin with this thing? Uh, oh, the lame excuse about a car wreck that uh, dude broke his back. <laughs> so his partner is supposed to like kind of share stuff, but he's not doing nothing either. So, you know, all that lame, stupid stuff that we hear in the space, right? It's, it's funny how, uh, you know, it, it, right when you think you heard it all, you haven't, right? I mean, come on. Like... How, uh, I mean, of all things that have come that, that can occur, uh, the, the very person that runs the platform gets into a car accident and breaks his back, right? So how many of you guys believe that, all right? Um, but yeah, it's just funny. You know? How about, um, oh, uh, you know, so-and-so caught COVID, right? So he's bedridden right now with COVID, you know, something like that. You know, just, just something lame, you know, just all the lame excuses, that, uh, you know, what, so you could feel a little bit of sympathy? I mean, so that way you're not so hard on Echo One, or what is it, you know? So if you guys believe in that stuff, then you guys are a bunch of rubes, all right? And that's simply what it is. So new details emerge now as to what supposedly is happening in Echo One, all right? So this is what was said. Hello, friends. This is not an official statement as details are still being ironed out. I'm simply sharing what I've learned and and more information is coming soon, right? So this was a couple of days ago. Uh, let's see. I've been informed because of delays at exchange and other variables I've already documented above. Echo One is getting a reset. Hmm. A reset, huh? So all balances will revert back to what they were on December 30th. Okay. So if it paid out, December 24th, if you got your withdrawal December 24th, for those of you that pulled out that weekend, December 23rd, 24th, um, and so any sort of, and I guess if anybody left their balances, then you would have to reset to zero. And then anybody that's earned since December 24th, Christmas Eve, then, um, you only get that that balance reset from that point. I mean, so either you get reset from the time of your last withdrawal, which was the latest was December 24th, or, um, you know, the, whatever it is accumulated since then, but it's, it's already counting down. I mean, today is now January 22nd. So if, if you're going to have a balance reset to after the 30th let's see here 
All balances will revert back to what they were on December 30th. Uh, all, all those who joined and deposited after December 30th, their balances will get reset to zero. Kind of weird. This, it just doesn't make any sense. So I guess all this time that people have been earning for this month, pretty much say January, it's going to go to zero for the ones that joined in, you know, after December 30th. And then the ones that have been in it, they'll just revert back to what they were on December 30th. Okay. So for uh, people like me, you know, that's one week of earnings um, that's going to revert back to or uh, that you lose simply. Um, well, shit. I mean, if you look at the rest of this month that you're supposedly supposed to be earning and, um, you know, it's just weird, you know. This whole thing is just weird. To me, it's a lame excuse. It's just there's nothing going on. It's, it's been done. It's over, right? So we're going to hear from your buddy with his fake deposit that, you know, supposedly knows the people and he has the seven rules of sustainability. But I guess he didn't uh, account for the car accident to the admin or fake CEO in the seven rules of sustainability. Um but yeah, so let's take a look at that, all right? Let me see here. Where is it at? Oh, here it is. So let's take a look here, all right? We're going to find out here what we got going on. Uh, hello, friends. This is not an official statement. Uh, all balances. Okay, so he's already, he's just kind of regurgitating what that was said there. Um, I don't know. Maybe, is there anything more to that? Uh, it's essentially going back in time, a time capsule uh or rewinding and restarting and resetting the clocks so no one is getting paid less on the contract full cycle of their deposits so for the time they didn't pay they were at a month that way equine doesn't have to pay out such a massive amount at once but this way they can meter out continuing forward they are waiting a bit more to close their true <laughs> that's what they did before they they're waiting a bit more to close a good trade right they did that last time uh, they're oh yeah they're we're closing a trade that's where we're going to open up on Wednesday and they didn't. Uh, it's been reported that everything is fine. Withdrawals will be able for next week. Stay tuned for more updates. Hmm. And then while you're at it, <laughs> meanwhile he tries to sell, you know, this again now. So for those of you in this group who have been looking for a replacement for Coin Market Bull, I just want to fill you in that. Our team has moved to Titan 369, of course, because that's the new uh, shiny object now, bright shiny object. We are absolutely convinced that Titan 369 will outlast most of the platforms out there, and they just went to pre-launch January 5th, and full launch is February 15th. It's very early, but already catching fire among leaders and seasoned participants who are extremely picky about what they join. It's not just me or one or two other people who know the owners. One or two uh, people... Uh, who know the owners. There's a large group of us top leaders in this industry who know the owner well. Well, that's who, uh, you know, everybody's talking about is Jensen, right? He just had, didn't outright say it. Uh, so this is a large group. Let's see. I spent time with him in person, including me. More than that, they have a history of creating platforms in, this, in the past that outlast most in the space with a solid track record referring to uh, Vortec, right? Uh, not to mention they're real. Um, let's see. They're real. Uh, where is it? I hear it. Real Binance developers behind coding and infrastructure. Uh, reach out to me if you are interested in getting the freshest start you ever dreamed of, right? Yeah, of course, yeah. Yeah, oh, oh yeah, oh, for sure, for sure. I mean, uh, just like the gimmick of uh, it's short sales in a bear market, right? For coin market bull and you know, oh, the I mean, the the, the countless amount of of so supposed details that makes this the best one for each platform, right? There's always going to be a gimmick or something or a tag to say, oh, you know, this is what the reason why it's going to be the best one ever, right? Because every time there's a new one, it's supposed to be better than the previous one, right? That's just the way the game is played. So when you look at all that that's going on, um, 
<laughs> you know, one, Echo One will not pay, all right? They're going to continue to drag it out. Meanwhile, deposits are still open, and they're going to drag it out, right? Just like uh, any other sort of platforms out there that likes to just talk, 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 and, oh, yeah, meanwhile, the deposits remain open, <laughs> You know, yeah, of course. You know, why why wouldn't they not want to keep the pods open, right? Keep the money coming in. And uh, while the guy is, uh, you know, rehabbing from his broken back, oh my gosh, right? Uh, he meanwhile he pulls it forward and says, hey, you know, how about go, come on into Titan three six nine? You know, it's the greatest thing ever. But the thing is, though, uh, is it? Well, I guess it will be, and it's the next phase in Vortech United version two, we'll call it. Um, this is what Jensen wanted to do was to shift it towards tokenizing the platform. So that's what he did with Titan 369. So when, you know, it's funny how, you know, that dick bag, uh, Marcos always likes to, uh, you know, like he does it blatantly in your face, right? He puts it out there blatantly in your face and says, look at this, 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 right? And, sh and puts it and just puts it right in your face. Like, it's almost like. He whips it out. He just whips you with it, you know, just just to whip you around with it, smack you in the face, you know, teabagging you, and then um, puts it right back in, you know, and it's like, yeah, what are you going to do about it? You know, and it's funny because everything about what he has done has been fake, you know, like the deposits are fake, the channel subs are fake, uh, sometimes the views he pays for, is, you know, all that's fake. I'm just waiting for uh, Echo 1 to uh, all be taken down, all those Echo 1 videos, you know, so let's see here. And we're going to see if uh, views have shot up since then, all right? So you can see how these are average views, right? Um, but it's not its not those riveting paid-for views of 16,000 and 15,000 views and 15,000 views, right? See, that makes sense, right? These are views here. Um, but the subs are fake, though, because he was sitting at 2,000 last year at this time, all right? No way he would have gone up to 35, just like that, um, with these amount of views. So, you know, so, you know it's just it's easy to see this shit, you know. And he thinks he's the best thing there is in crypto. And, you know, he, you know he's had dinner with these guys. And he's hung out with them and all this other stuff. But then, um, yet, <laughs> there's no speaking of, hey, um, you know, this is what's happening here with these platform guys, you know. No, no, no. Yeah, there's sustain seven sustainability rules and uh, Bitcoin growth software, right? When it shifted to Litecoin, there was no talk whatsoever about that, right? Ever coming out of him. But, you know, it's just it, it's just par for the course about how trash of a YouTuber he is. He's just a straight piece of shit. And everybody knows that, right? Just like his fake deposit, 100K. And he's on, he, he loves to gloat that in every video, too. Oh yeah, I put 100k of my own money. And get the fuck out of here, man. You're so fucking fake. And I mean, I, it was so easy, man. If you guys watched that deposit, you could tell that was set up and fake. You know, I mean, that's just it was a setup, and uh, wasn't very good at it. And now he's dropping hint bombs about, oh yeah, so many people know this guy in the industry. He's had a background. Well, he has a background that Vortex failed, right? So you would hope that. Um, Titan 369 is going to be better than Vortech, but only time would tell. And you do have a lot of leaders involved in it, so, so uh, you know, as much as how Vortech has a lot of leaders in it. And uh, I question, though, how many of those leaders have uh, gone against the seven sustainability factors that Dick Bag here has uh, laid out about how. You know, um, you know, when the platform offers uh, deposits for whatever, uh, blah, 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 blah. Like, how many of those are like that, right? Including Marcos. <laughs> you know, that that's how contradicting dick bags like him are, is, you know. So, I'm um, just saying, just saying. That's what's going on here. Echo One is dead. Simply put. Reset to zero. We've seen platforms do that before. Uh, nothing really changes a platform. Even when you reset the platform to zero and 
they they put a lot of um, how how can I say is like uh, restrictions on it to where oh you know you only can pull out so much a day and and watch you do the same you'll do it right they'll say oh you only can pull out a hundred dollars and then you do that and it still won't pay right so they're kind of just spinning you through the wheels again all right so um, you'll see because you guys don't want to learn you guys want to listen to dick bags and uh, think that it's going to come back even though they reset to zero like that's really going to help echo one because the problem is when a platform stops paying very rarely do they come back and just pay again you know like like everything's okay and back to normal no all they're doing right now is collecting 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 those deposits all right but you guys don't want to listen you guys just want to just keep on uh, you know, playing games and par for the course. All right, cool. I'll just keep laughing at you guys. That's what I'll just do in the background. I'll just keep laughing at you guys and laughing at you guys and just keep saying I told you so uh, over and over again, all right? Meanwhile, when you have dick bags out there, don't give a shit. Don't put out nothing. Um, you know, it's a disservice, and I'll just continue to document that disservice that dick bags do out there for you guys. But anyhow... That's the latest here on Death Watch. Uh, I mean, I could talk about land screen, but ever, ever since they talked about what they talked about on Saturday uh, when I covered my last Death Watch video, they really hasn't. They haven't really said anything since then. The last couple of days. Meanwhile, <laughs> of course, deposits are still open. Withdrawals haven't come out, but supposedly they're going to be have some huge restrictions on it. We'll find out um, with that. So uh, other than that, let me know what you think. Comment down below. Links are in the description for everything we got going on. Uh, subscribe to everything I got. And uh, you know what? I'll see you next one.